and welcome back to my channel so today it's a quick one and um i won't be wasting our time i just want to show us how to ventilate properly using the ventilating needle and the small crochet pin okay please um this is glutera extra and my name is opera Chema. in case you have not subscribed to my channel please do go to subscribe before you um before you're done watching the video please don't forget to subscribe so that you can enjoy more videos from this channel like i say this channel is not just about hey we are we are we are giving you extra and our slogan is sharing as i discover i will give you many ideas once i discover them so that's why you have to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that any video i don't expect you to like all the videos like i don't expect you to watch all the videos on my channel but if you are the type that you want everything then you have to subscribe to my channel or if you're the type that don't want to miss out on anything you have to also subscribe to my channel and turn on your notification bell so you can be notified anytime i post a video so without wasting much of our time i'll just go in quickly to introduce us to the materials for this tutorial this is the blue nylon i'm using for to to make sure that i don't use this in ventilating actually i don't i haven't i haven't used it before so if you see me misbehaving using it don't just murmur just flow along i do have since i started ventilating i've been fully using the bare skin i don't use paper i haven't used paper i haven't used, not that i'm trying to say i won't but if there's need for it i'm going to use and now there's a need for it because this is a tutorial so there's a need for it so i'll be using this so i don't want to remove this so i'll just use this paper and thank god i haven't ventilated fully but even though i have ventilated fully on this lace i'll just have to remove it but since i've not ventilated it i don't have strength to um, piece it back here so i'll just go ahead and use this empty space i just hope you can see so why i'm using this blue nylon is so that you can be able to see what i'm doing and then the next thing we'll be needing is our lace this is the lace i use in learning how to ventilate like i can see this is when when i was learning i was learning with this lace and i would like to use it to tutor you on ventilating okay so i was learning with this i learned with gold attachment you can see i learned with gold attachment i also learned with the blue attachment and i don't know if i use black but for this for this tutorial i'll be using black because i don't have strength to locate that colored attachment but let me use black i should just use black it's just the same thing if you know how to use black you know how to use any color of attachment so i'll just be using black and then we'll be needing pink so I'll be bringing out pin. In this um, pin aspect, you know there are ventilating pins which are called the T pins. Okay, I'll drop the um, picture on the video while editing. When editing, I'll drop the picture so you can see the T pins. There are also office pin, which the office pin, which is this this type. This is this is zing. This is an office pin. This is a office pin. This is an office pin. This this is the office pin I'm talking about, please. English is hard. This is the office pin I'm talking about, and there's another pin that I don't know. Most of you that did technical drawing, there's another pin you use. You don't you know you can use this pin in technical drawing. That pin you use in technical drawing, you can also use it. Also, there there's another pin too that um, you can use in holding papers to the wall. There's another pin you can use, but it's only pin you can use. You can use solo tape. You can use maxing tape. So I'll just go ahead. Why? Okay, the purpose of this. Okay, so I didn't even know that the video was not recording. I was trying to say that the purpose of the pin is so, as in, so that when you're ventilating, the net will not, this net, sorry, my hands is, the net will not pull off. That's the purpose of the pin. You can see that it's firmly seated or it's firmly held on the dummy head. So, I've prepared the attachment already for ventilating. I'm using the one I'm using to ventilate on the full lace. And in case you don't know how to prepare your attachments, um, I'll be dropping the video at the end of this one on how to prepare your attachment. So just do go to watch the video to the end so that you see the video on how to prepare your attachments. 
so this is my attachment i'll be using okay i advise that as a beginner you just take little out of it don't hold all of them because you might end up having something like this i don't want that you might even end up destroying the attachment so all you have to do is just to take little little by little just take little okay this one is even still much on my hand i just have to reduce the people then we start ventilating so i'm going to be incorporating both of them i'll be doing for the patient and the impatient ones because you know i said that this thing can make you open and make your holes big that's if you're not patient so now i'll be showing you how to use this needle in case you don't know how to do it so what you're trying to do now is to make this pin go through a hole you're trying to make this pin right here go through a hole and so it goes through a hole and comes out through another hole that is what you're trying to do so i will just go ahead put this in a hole and bring it out through this hole i'm sorry my eyes is stopping me because i have an eye defect but for the sake of this video i will just take my time and explain very well so you can see it's out of the hole then you push it out to make sure that this loop comes out I hope you can see this loop should pass through the hole and it's going to come out to the other side it's going to come out to the other side and then and also when you want to tie because when we get to that part I might not be able to show you but I have to show you now the loop we are going to form should get to this point should get to this point after this lock the loop should be here so that you can be able to pass it through the hole so you push it push it out if you are patient enough you just take it slow slow but if you are not patient you end up pushing it fast and what's going to happen you're going to rip up the net so i'll just take it slowly slowly as you can see then I'll go ahead to pick my hair. You can pick one strand, two strands, but I prefer you choose or you pick a little strand. That is little, I mean, is just like one or two. So I'll just pick, I'll just pick a strand of hair. You can see I've picked a strand of hair. Hope you saw it. Let me pick. Okay. Okay, that's gonna be. Just go ahead and pick it back then i'll just gently pull back you see the head the pin is coming it's closing so it closes and then you pull out slowly pull out slowly you see then you make sure that this loop goes down you see the pin the lock has opened then make sure that this loop you see it has gone down then you go ahead extend your attachment hand and then wrap around this thing is disturbing me and you see that this might end up we might end up struggling so i have to adjust my my hand i will adjust my hand i don't know if it's going to be possible but i just hope you get the thing i'm trying to explain i hope you get what i'm trying to explain so what i'll do now is to wrap this round wrap this round and then that's why this this one is actually stressful. You see how it's wasting my time. You see how it's wasting my time. Then you drag back. It's going to close. Just drag back. And then it will close. You see what's happening there? You see the village people? The village people are coming closer. The village people are coming closer. The village people are coming closer. But since I'm not using this net, I'll just rip it off i'll just uh, you see it's out so i'm going to be doing it again so we get used to it you see that little of the ones i've been before entered so you just use your hand or your needle 
I'm bringing out. See, it's tight. But an impatient person, he might end up doing it, and then the net is going to cut. But if you're patient enough, you'll be able to do it very well. So I'll go ahead to do this again, and then I'll be introducing the um, pattern of ventilating also. I'll be introducing the pattern to ventilate. So since I've ventilated this, sorry, I'm trying to separate this. Since I've ventilated this hole now, okay, since I've ventilated this hole, on see that same straight line, since I've ventilated this hole, that same straight line here, I'm going to leave this one. This is the hole to this one. So this is the one hole you're expected to leave. Can you see? This is the one hole you're expected to leave. Then you move over to the next one. Okay? The next one, which is this. So you put your pin again into it. Bring it out through the hole. Out slowly. Slowly, don't wash the patient slowly, okay. Then you take your hair and pull out, pull back. Once you pull back, the pain will automatically close by itself. Pull back slowly. Oh my god, the hair I collected was much, so I'll open up. Again, open up. Make the, make sure that the loop goes back. Then I'll wrap, wrap round, and then tighten it. You see what's happening here? I think this one is the patient, impatient dog. This is what happens to impatient people. I think I was trying to be impatient there. Okay, I have to move. To another place or maybe i'll explain the line by line using the other pin but because of this so it's distracting me and i'm not equally staying in the position that i should stay so i'll just use another hole to explain so that this will stop distract so that this stuff will stop distracting me so i'll just use another hole to explain it so i'll understand how to translate to this thing i hope you can see okay Please, you should go through this hole and come out from the next hole, not two holes after. That's why I'm trying to be careful. Because if it comes out from another hole, you will not, you end up ripping the net. So it's coming out from this hole. And then just carefully push it out. And take your hair. Then you push back slowly, slowly, slowly. So, then you open up, okay? You open up, you open up, then you wrap around, wrap around, wrap again. For it to be tight, you wrap maybe like two times. For it to be tight, so you wrap around two times or three times, then you go back and you see it closes by itself, then you drag it out, and that's it. Voila! So you just have to play back the video and rewind to understand because we can't keep on ventilating because if we keep on ventilating, the video will be very, very long. Okay, so I guess I'm done with how to ventilate with this particular crochet pin. So I'll go ahead with the next one which is for a professional look so holding our attachment in the same position in the same position i'll be using this one next 
okay i'm using this one next and then now i'll be teaching us the line by line if you're using the previous one if you're using this previous one just watch closely the lines now i'll be leaving while ventilating that's the same line you leave for this one okay so i'll just go ahead and use this one to ventilate So let me look for the perfect spot. Okay. I think you guys can see from here. So I'll use here. So in using this one now, you see it's very easy to just put. It's very easy. So you just put it, bring it out through the next hole, and you secure your attachment. You pull back. So now in pulling back, this is where the problem is. Because the person that wanted the video said that um, she, when she was trying to pull it out, the attachment will fall off. So, you notice that in this ventilating needle, there's a hook there to secure your attachment. So, in pulling back now, you have to press the needle down, just going, going out the same way you entered. So, you press it down, you see it came out. So, that's how to secure your attachment. Then. So wrap around the same process with the crochet, small crochet pin, you wrap. So now in making it tight, you have to wrap it again. If you don't want it to be tight, you just have to wrap once and then you pull out through the hole. But if you want it to be very tight, you wrap two to three times and then you make sure that the pin, this pin here, is facing down like this and then you pull out. You see, just pull it out. It's very easy, guys. You just have to understand it. Okay, so I'll do that again now and I'll be giving us the proper ventilation process. You see that this hole and this other one's hole, this one is wide, so wide, and this one is not looking wide. So this is more professional and this is looking like um, a beginner. So now, in ventilating now if you are ventilating and this is in lines ventilating in lines so now i will and then if you're saying if someone tells you he wants or she wants two strands in and then you leave one hole so okay let's just say one strand because what i did there was one strand so if person wants one strand and then you leave one hole so i've ventilated one strand here i've ventilated one strand there so i'm going to leave this hole here sorry i'll leave this hole and go to this one okay that's what i'm going to do so i'll go ahead and repeat it i'll take one strand of it go back the same way i came in that is pressing the needle down one to the manicure and then wrap i think that what entered there was more than one because this is looking it's looking strong so this is it okay so i'll do that again you leave this hole and go to this one. Then you pick your hair. You pick your hair. Take it out, down. You wrap. So if you want to be fast, you don't have to loop it so wide. You see? Okay? So that's for a straight line. Then if you are coming to the next line, all you have to do is leave this line in total. That if you are ventilating a full lace or a closure, you leave this line in total. Okay? And then go to the next line. You start again. The same process. I think we are enjoying this video. Please give it a thumbs up. And also if you have not subscribed, do go to subscribe. So you pick it. Then press the needle downwards downwards if you do it like this it's not going to come out okay it's going to be you're going to be struggling with the net but if you press it downwards it's going to come out and then you see you have secured the loop as you can see we have secured the loop and then all you have to do next is to wrap okay sorry in case you have something like this all you have to do quickly use your needle to pick it up and then you wrap around if you want it to be if you don't want it to be tight you just wrap once and then drag but if you want it to be tight you wrap again 
you wrap again and then pull out okay okay let's do it again then now this is the another line then i'll leave this hole and go to this one then i'll press it down press it down just master the process once you master the process once you start ventilating it will be very easy for you secure the loop like this then you wrap around one two three then you pull out this one we are doing now is double double splits it's not single we are doing double knots and double sp uh, split. It's not a single one. The single one, you're going to actually take one part. Okay? But I won't be doing that in this video. Maybe in our next video. So this video will not be long. So now, I will leave this hole. And I will go to this hole. I will go to this hole. So press it down, down, just as if you want to face the needle to the net, to the manicure. That is how you are facing it down. Then wrap, wrap, wrap. That is if you want it to be tight, then pull out. If you are pulling out, the needle also face down. The needle will face down like this. Let me see your saying. The needle should face down. The needle should face down like this not like this maybe you face down okay let me go this way and see if i can do something from here okay i will not follow the line but now i understand look at now you see that it's very neat and spacey you see that it's very neat and spacey so i'll just go ahead to make you understand i will not be following the line again i'll just go ahead and do this for you I just hope you can see. Let me peep. Okay. I just hope you saw it. And then I'll pick a strand of here. And then press it down. See? You see what is happening here? Press it down so it comes out and it's going to secure the attachment. Press it down. Then wrap one for it to be tight. Two, three. Then you bring it out. Wah! You see, if you want to know if it's tight, once you are bringing out, you'll be hearing. <sighs> Sorry, I think I'm snoring. But sometimes you might not hear it too. But that's how to know if the knot is tight. So go ahead and do this again. So I'll just put through this hole, bring it out, select my strand over here. You can equally pick any amount of strand. But I've explained to you in the previous video, I think, on how to ventilate. If you want to ventilate the full list, you just check um, my ventilation series and you know how to ventilate the full list. So I'm just explaining the processes you'll be using to ventilate it. So this is how to ventilate with this needle. Okay. So I'll explain again. You just, I hope I'm actually facing you. So I'll just put this in this book. Let me see if it's showing you. It's not showing as you can see it's not showing that part so i'll move over to this part so you see okay i'll move to this part i'm not following the lines again as you can see because i want to make sure you understand this video and your data will not be wasted so that's why i want to make sure you understand so put it through this hole then you take a strand of hair the strand of hair is simply one then you pull out press it down 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 like this then you drag it out drag it out then you wrap wrap and pull out you see i use force that's why it's really tough so that's that for this video and please if you learned something from this video sorry 
and please if you learned something for this from this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up know that i have ventilation series you can just check out on how to ventilate a full list if you're looking for how to ventilate a full list a closure anything at all but this one is just basically on how to ventilate with your ventilating needle and know that if you can use this particular one you can use any other you can if you your hand is very strong with this one my sister my dear my love my subscriber you can use any pin at all because this is the professional one and once you know how to use it you're good to go you can even use that one that has a screw that you can change the pin you can use it so it's just easy it's just easy very easy just put in your pin put in your pin push it out take your hair i just hope someone is understanding take your hair press it down once you just put in your hair there's something here to secure there's something here okay let me use this there's something here there's something here like a hook just take your time and feel just take your time and feel this pin this wooden pin this wooden ventilating needle. take your time and feel it there's something there to secure the hair so once you just pull it out once you just um take your um, strand of hair and then you pull it out like this then you wrap one two three this is just to make your knots very tight and once it's like this don't just make sure you just rem remove your pin remove your pin once it's like doing jaga jaga remove your pin then use your pin to drag it out like this slowly or you can use your hand to do that So thank you so much for watching this and um, I love you so much but please don't forget to subscribe to my channel as subscription is free and share this video to anyone who is going to be needing it and I will see you in my next video. Bye!